This is an example to highlight the difference in interpretation between a Bayesian credible interval and a frequentist confidence interval. So here imagine we are interested in the mean age of a certain population and we take a sample of data and compute a 90% CI that's equal to the interval from 38.7 years to 39.4 years. So first, if we think about this from the Bayesian perspective, this is saying, given my beliefs, I believe there's a 90% chance that the true population mean is somewhere between 38.7 and 39.4. I believe this true mean is in this interval uh, with a 90% chance. And here, believe is this posterior belief that's a combination of your prior beliefs and what you see in the data. So it's given this particular data sample and given my prior beliefs, this is what I believe about the true population mean. In contrast, if we think about a frequentist confidence interval, that means from the before sampling perspective, so if I back up to before I took the sample, I would say I'm constructing this interval using a procedure such that before sampling, there's a 90% probability of the true mean being inside the interval. So the probability that the true mean is in my confidence interval is 90% from this before sampling perspective. And again, if it helps intuition, we could think of this also in terms of repeated sampling, where if I were to keep taking other samples and getting other confidence intervals within each sample, then if I did that, say, a hundred times, we would expect around 90 of the confidence intervals in those hundred samples to contain the true mean. So even if we have a CI at the same 90% level and the same numbers, there's still a big difference between the interpretation of those numbers from the Bayesian perspective and the interpretation from the frequentist perspective.